Okay, folks, uh, welcome back to the Hawthorne's Curry Kitchen. It's Thursday night, so th tonight we're doing a Punjabi recipe or two for you for, uh, for our Curry Club uh, video for this week. Hope everyone's uh, keeping well and um, bearing up under the, the strain of this lockdown. But uh, here we go. So what I'm going to do tonight for you a chicken uh, Makani Murg, which is a, a buttered chicken. And with it, I'm going to serve a, a Masor Dal. And also, I'm going to do a wee spinach uh, sag bhaji. Okay. So first of all, the chicken has been marinating overnight in a yogurt-based marinade. And in there, there's four cloves of garlic, uh, a couple of chilies, two um, inches of ginger chopped up and bits down, and the spice mix that goes in with that. There's a, a spoonful of turmeric, a spoonful of coriander, a spoonful of cumin, uh, and uh, there's been half a lime juice. So that's been marinating in that. So I say it's a butter chicken dish. So very simple. Uh, into the dish, I'm going to put the butter fair good dollop of butter and let that melt down so as that melt, butter starts to melt nicely I'll better turn it up slightly speed it along a bit I'm going to add into it the marinated chicken That's going to be sweated down in that butter. And the only other ingredient I'm going to put into there now is some tomatoes. I'm using half a tin of chopped tomatoes to go into there. I've used four chicken thighs for this one. Okay, it's bones and uh, as I say, they've been marinated, so they're quite large chunks. So there, that's that in there. I'll put the lid on that there, and whilst that's cooking, I'll move on to the dal. Okay, so I'll leave that down in there. So in the dal, it's uh, again, I've put water, just water with some sugar in there. I'm putting some tin tomato in there as well, because this requires that. And I've washed off a mug full of of uh, red lentils. The spice mix here, we've got a spoonful of turmeric, a spoonful of uh, cumin and coriander, some salt and some curry leaves. So that's the spice mix that goes into there. So I'm going to put that into the, the cooking liquor and bring that back up to the boil and then I'm going to add the washed off lentils and let them cook in there. Okay, and whilst that's going, I'm going to give this chicken a quick stir with a chicken spoon. Uh, and the, the buttered chicken, as they will be cooked in the marinade and the butter, the tomatoes. And I shall be adding a little bit of garam masala at the end, and it should be finished with a little bit of double cream. So it's a really mild, creamy dish. It's the closest thing we've got really to a chicken tikka masala. So over here now that the mass or dal water has come to the boil and I'm going to put in the lentils now. So I wash those off to get rid of some of the starch beforehand. So we'll let those come back to the boil. So Punjab is a way up in the north, so uh, you know the tandoori's and the uh, the uh, those sorts of dishes are what you'd have there, and they would normally eat their food with naan bread rather than rice. So that's what I, we're going to do tonight for our our, our tea. Um, so that'll take about 15 to 20 minutes whilst that's uh, boiling up, um, and hopefully that will absorb most of that liquor. And then we finish that off by frying um, some chilies, garlic, and ginger into a little bit of oil here. 
uh, and we'll fry that off and, and finish off by spicing it up. And we can see in here now that the chicken is bubbling away, so I'm going to turn him down slowly so he's not going to burn. I'll leave him covered and take him over whilst that's going there. The third dish I'm going to do, I'm going to do three dishes, or three dishes this week. So the third dish I'm going to do is just the basic spinach bhaji. So, I mean, you can mix this up by putting paneer cheese in it, or you can put potatoes through it, or whatever. But uh, I've cooked off the spinach uh, briefly um, with a little bit of fenugreek, some turmeric and some chilli, and a bit of pinch of salt. So that's cooked and ready to go. To finish it off, very simple. I fry a mixture here, we've got an onion, four, um, four cloves of garlic, two green chilies, and an inch of, an inch of ginger chopped up. Uh, the spice mix that's going to go into it is a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of, um, well, half a teaspoon of fenugreek, and a teaspoon each of ground cumin and cumin seeds. So that's going to be the spices that goes into, into the, 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 the sack. So I'll go get a pan on the back there now. So we can get that underway. I think it's been done now. So into that goes the oil. So let that just warm up a bit. I did forget to mention I put there's a chopped tomato in there as well. Which uh, will be so. Don't be too surprised when you see some red bits. The lentils are cooking out quite nicely now. Just got to let that reduce down so it's a little less wet. I might put too much water in, but shh, don't worry. I'll give the chicken another stir. I hope it's not too confusing with all these different dishes going on at the same time. So into the, the pan at the back, there's the onion, tomato, garlic, ginger, and green chilies. Fry those, so there's a bit of color on the onions. Right, so, the things have been um, pretty hectic here, we've been uh, painting stuff and uh, moving things around in the kitchen, I hope I haven't uh, upset Chris or, or Liam too much by taking over their, their little back room areas, but I um, hope they'll, they'll like it when they get back. Hopefully that uh, there's sort of talks of easing a few uh, uh, restrictions in the next week or so, so hopefully there'll be some easing, though I don't think we'll be back for a while yet, unfortunately. But uh, if we get the chance, we'll reopen the backdoor curry club and uh, go from there. So I hope everything's okay. I'll just finish these off now because I can hear in the back here sizzling away the onions. Let them dry off a little bit more. I've been instructed to talk and I'm not talking very much. I don't know, it's not like me really, is it? So, um, okay. Now then, I'm going to put the spices into the spinach mix. Unfortunately, the smell of vision hasn't worked again, but I can tell you it smells lovely. I'll put a pinch of salt in there. And I'm going to add the uh, spinach. I left a little bit of liquor in with the spinach so that I can go in, into there. So 
So basically that's it. The spinach bhaji or if you do a mushroom bhaji, you get them all the time and it's just really a little bit of fry, frying off of the spices and a few other ingredients and adding the taste of them. So that is the, the sag bhaji. It's one onion, two cloves of garlic, a couple of chilies, uh, an onion fried off with some tomato and the spice mix as I said was cumin, uh, fenugreek, and turmeric. I'm going to turn that down low now because he's cooked. I'm going to stick the lid on that one now. Whilst I sort out the chicken. So the chicken now, as you see, is bubbling away quite, quite nicely and it won't take too much more cooking. I'm going to add the garam masala to that now. Bit to lose a little bit of the moisture, so put a little of masala. As I said, right at the end, we'll finish that off with a bit of. Uh, cream you can chop the piece up a little bit if you like but I, I've left them fairly large but there we go so we bump it away nicely put the lid back on him for a bit and there we go you see the lentils now have absorbed pretty much all of that uh, liquor so now I need to fry off the uh, the final bits to finish that off. Also, I will need to put the naans in the oven in a minute. But um, I will just move that to one side a minute. Move that to the back. I put a drop of oil in there. Heat that up. To finish off the lentils in a minute so that's a that's really about it we're just going to dish it up in a minute now so I'll just run through it again so the Mukani Merg marinated chicken overnight in the yogurt with uh, garlic ginger a little bit of chili uh, ground coriander ground cumin and ground um, turmeric um, and then cooked in the sauces with some tomato uh, so finished with some garam masala and finally with some cream but with a big knob of butter because it's a butter quite a nice buttery dish the lentils they were again cooked with curry leaves tomato um, cumin turmeric a little chili and they're going to be finished off with a, a taco which is frying off here the garlic and the uh, ginger and um, green chilies. I'll put those in there now and let them fry for a bit. That'll be that finished. And then the sag bhaji was cooked spinach, fried with, well, he fried off the onions and the garlic and the ginger with the tomatoes, added the spice mix, which was fenugreek, turmeric and cumin, uh, and finished off the spinach. And we will finish this with a little bit of cream and that will be delicious. I hope you enjoyed this week's curry. Have a go this week and hopefully in a week or two's time we may be back cooking for you on a Thursday night. Take care. All the best.